In this video, we're in this video, we're gonna be going over the In this video, we're gonna be going over these three whopper plopper style baits. I don't know if I like that light. Hi you making folks and welcome to the channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Vinny, and if you like hot rod sports cars and things like that, <laughs> Well, this isn't the channel for you, but if you like fishing and sometimes hunting, well, then you're in the right place because I like it too. So if at any point in this video you find yourself enjoying the thing, getting entertained, educated, or otherwise, consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing a notification bell, hitting the like button, all that good stuff, you know, so you don't miss any of the things that we do here, like fishing and hunting and stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into this video because well, that's what you're here for. So you notice I said Whopper Plopper style baits and none of these baits are the actual Whopper Plopper by River to Sea. And that is because I already did that video, this one right here. And in the comments, a bunch of people said, you forgot the Berkeley Chapo. So I went and picked one of those up and then somebody else commented that I should try the Bass Pro brand Whopper Plopper style bait. And then I remember being in Walmart a while back and noticed that they had one too. So I went ahead and grabbed that little land yap, a little extra. Go ahead and compare that in with the other two. So we're gonna go over these things pretty much simultaneously at the same time. So we get through them and head out on the water to see what they look like in the water. So looking at them side by side, the biggest difference you can see is this one here uh, from Bass Pro has two props on it instead of just the one like both of these. The Walmart brand and the Berkeley Chopper, pretty much the same design. Uh, they got kind of a similar body shape. Now if you look at the Walmart brand versus the Berkeley Chopper, you can see the Chopper has more of a cupped fin on the back, whereas the Walmart one does it's not quite as cup but uh i'm sure it'll still get the job done now another thing i noticed when you put all three of them together is the chopper has uh slightly smaller hooks than the other two if you look at the line ties the chopper has a line tied directly to it whereas ow ow apparently has a uh, sharp hooks also. The other two are split rings tied to the actual line tie. And you can see here with the Bass Pro one, the wire comes out, it kind of twists, got a little bead on it. I don't know what difference this is all gonna make. I'm just pointing out the obvious differences that I see when I'm looking at them. Now the price difference, ouch, crap. Might not be a good idea to have all three of my hands at the same time, draw back. Now the price difference, the Berkeley Chopper, $11.99. The Bass Pro with the double uh, props on it, $10.99. And then the Walmart coming in at the cheapest is only $4.99. So $5 for this bait, is it worth it? Oh, hey, it's got a pretty good knock to it too. Now you can definitely tell with the Walmart bait that the plastic feels a little bit cheaper. You can see a defined seam down the middle of this one where you can't really see it on these two. And I noticed on the chopper, it says on the package that it rattles. Let's go ahead and compare that. Ain't much rattle at all. It's there, I don't know why. That matters though, because you're gonna be pulling these things straight through the water, so I don't know what good a rattle's really gonna do. The Walmart one has a serious knock in it. Ow. Decent hooks. And the Bass Pro one has another little bitty rattle just like the uh, Chapo. As for detail, the Bass Pro brand only has really painted detail on it. There's no cuts or anything in the plastic, whereas the Walmart brand and, ow, come on. Terrible idea. As you might be able to see, the Berkeley Chapo has like some cut scales in it, and then the Walmart brand has some really deep cut scales in it, as well as that little side fin on there. So then, yeah, that's that's it's pretty cool, I guess. All of the wire that are going through all three of these baits seem to be the same gauge, the same diameter. So all seem. That was almost my foot. That would have been a disaster. What was I saying? Yeah, I don't know. They all seem to be decent quality. Obviously the Walmart one for $5 isn't gonna be as good a quality. So it's probably not gonna last you as long. I'm certain it'll still catch fish. As a matter of fact, probably gonna go try that out. Is my dog dead? Hey, you, uh, you all right over there? Tank? Oh, yeah, he's still good. All right, just making sure. I think that's everything. Let's get these out on the water, see what they look like in motion, in action, because after all, that is the most important part. If I forgot anything, make sure you put that in the comments below and we'll try and address it then, but uh, let's go see what they look like on the water. All right, starting off with the Bass Pro brand, not happy with it at all. I fished with it earlier this morning. You have to burn this thing like super fast for it to get, I guess, do what it's supposed to do. And even then it still gets hung up, you see, Sometimes the front will spin and then the whole back of the body will rotate. That center part that has the hook, it's not supposed to be uh, spinning. 
pretty much spins all the time. I mean, look at this thing. That's pretty much what you can get it to do most of the time. Every now and then when it does get good and it hits that sweet spot or whatever, when it, when it rolls like it's supposed to and that center sits still, it sounds awesome. But uh, it, ain't, it ain't really worth the fight to try and keep that thing how it's supposed to be. Now we got the Walmart uh, brand, that Ozark Trail brand. Uh, this one works pretty good. You can you can go pretty slow with it, and that prop will keep spinning. Um, it's got kind of a higher pitch sound to it because it doesn't have the scoop quite like the Berkeley one does. But you'll see that one in a minute. Uh, but this one did pretty good today. All right, now we got the Chapo. Love the sound this thing makes because it's got that uh, more cut spin on the back, so it makes that much better sound. You can reel this thing slow or fast. Doesn't matter. This thing works great. Sucker is a beast. So if you want to check out the one what I did with the OG Whopper Flopper, as well as the Guggen Bates Revolver and the Amazon Special, you can click on this video right here and it'll take you to it. Check that out. Uh, well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, catch you on the next one.